When I joined the club, I was pointed out by the directors in October that there was a shortfall of a couple of million quid that was needed, and we've done that. If we sell any further players, then obviously we can take action from there. Good husbandry. Good luck today, Dave. Thanks very much. Dave Bassett uh, at Filbert Street, Leicester Derby, a crucial game. Oh, Particularly, well, for both clubs, but Leicester, you feel, if they don't win today, Barry? Well, Leicester are adrift, and I've we'll, we'll been having a look at them. And what they've done is they've won three games from those 26 that we see. If they're going to survive in the Premiership this season, they need to win seven or eight mm. out of the remaining 12. That's how tall the order is. And they've only won three. If they win four, mate, it only gets them back level with, yeah. with Bolton. So yeah. it really, it's, they're doomed. I, I think. And it's a weekend of, of key fixtures for all the relegation threatened teams today. Everybody has a, a big involvement and, and will have a say in what's going to happen. And, and, uh, and certainly there, there is some massive games, none more so than the one we've just talked about. But I see West Ham and Middlesbrough as being a massive game for both those sides as well. Well, Middlesbrough have shown in the last 10 days, two weeks, that a couple of wins and suddenly you're floating away from danger. Yes, but on the other hand, I feel that West <laughs> Ham, having gone out the cup and looking over their shoulders and now a, a relegation battle... They can ill afford to get beat at home today, and home form has been their strongest uh, asset this season. Yeah, but uh, the example of Borough will, will be a fillet for everybody down Well, there's Ipswich did the same, didn't they? They yeah. put a few wins back to back, and it's, what it does, it gives you a little bit of breathing space, but it doesn't guarantee anything. This is the junior week against Fulham, and such an important result. I think this is uh, Boxage sticking one away, and it ends up 2-1, and it's a... It's a massive win uh, for Borough, who haven't been playing particularly well. They're starting to get a little bit more organisation. Uh, forget about playing well in pretty football. Mm. It's about getting those points, whether it's one or three. I mean, they're so vital at this stage of the season. 11 and 12 games to go. You know, we spoke about Blackburn before. They've got 12 league games left. They've got the cup final. 13 cup finals. It's a cliche, but it's an absolute truth. All the teams in the bottom half have got cup finals coming up. They have indeed. Uh Another Derby game tomorrow, of course, Clive. We've had one e email in uh, from Molly Armstrong in Sunderland uh, reminding us that for all the Derby games, Sunderland, Newcastle's the big one of the weekend. Well, it depends where you live, really, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Where do you live in the country? But this is a massive game, and for both clubs as well. Newcastle at the top, certainly striving for Europe. Sunderland, I think, and Peter Reid under a little bit of pressure. OK, thanks to Barry and to Clive. As always, quick check on the latest score from Old Trafford before we go. Still 1-0 to Manchester United over Aston Villa. Awful lot of football on ITV1 over the next couple of days. As always, the goal rush this afternoon, the Premiership tonight with Gabby, and the Worthington Cup final tomorrow with Des. An awful lot to play for this weekend with derby games all over the country, pride as well as points at stake. You know what? Football matters from all of us. Bye-bye for now. Snickers, sponsors on the ball. ITV1 kicks off tonight at 6.20 with stars in their eyes. Tonight, Matthew. Tonight, Matthew. Tonight, Matthew. I'm going to be... In Blind Date at 10 past 7, there's talent. All right, so now I'm with DJ. And charm. I've got a really sexy smile that attracts any woman. Speaking of which... You're a strange man in many ways. It's Millionaire at 10 past 8. Then at 9, chosen from thousands by you, meet Will Young, pop idol. That's tonight on ITV1. That's 0800 200 300 now. Who will get the place in next year's UEFA Cup? Well, it's all down to who will win the Worthington, Blackburn or Tottenham. The final live here tomorrow afternoon from 2.30. But now, before next week's Formula One races into action, a sneak preview for 2002. <laughs>
crosses the line. Michael Schumacher wins. Michael Schumacher is world champion. Hello and welcome to our preview show. Well, it seems no time at all since we left Japan at the final Grand Prix of last season. But actually, it's well over four p.m. on Saturday morning, the 2nd of March. The race will be shown live a little after 2 o'clock on Sunday morning with a rerun at 1.30 in the afternoon. I hope you can join us for those programmes. The Aussies bill Albert Park as a great place for a race and it most certainly is. Goodbye. If you'd like to know more about Formula One, the website address sponsored by Toyota is itv.com slash f1. And you may like to know that the official ITV Formula One Grand Prix guide is now available, priced at £9.99. Right, can you describe um, an average day? Well, I get up in the morning, go for a jog about 6 o'clock just to work on my fitness levels, you know. Yeah. What do your parents think? This is normal now. This is a normal... Keep normal, away from the food. Normal day. Keep away from the food. It's a normal day for, uh, for us. Keep away from the food. The ITV Sports Channel for me, it's just... There's so many more games, so many more matches, so many more cameras. It's just a great opportunity for me to get out there and get myself on more television screens, really. Adam's family courting trouble after some animated antics from Disney. Alert. Yeah! Action Man Vertical Mission with speed control and auto missile fire. Action Man Vertical Mission. Former teammates, bitter rivals. Oh! It's the goal he's been threatening to score. They let their feet do the talking. I believe he's sharing it! Versus Sheringham, Blackburn versus Tottenham. The Worthington Cup final exclusively live Sunday, 2.30, ITV1. Join the irrepressible Michael Barrymore. Are you very shy? No, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm all right. What are you nervous of? Are you? <laughs> With special guest Enrique Inglesis. He just finished his fun. No, I did see you Michael Barrymore's My Kind of Music, Sunday at 6.30 on ITV1. Cheeky performances from the world of sport tonight when Britain's streakers bear all in front of the TV cameras from 10. But now back to today's results from the pitch and find out who's scored and who hasn't. It's the Goal Rush. This one here is Thomas. It's just like a, a younger version, that cheeky smile. You're getting like your father. Stand there, do as you oh, tell no. I'm better than you. Ah, yeah. The Gold Rush on ITV with Coca-Cola. It's a big weekend of football here on ITV1 and for the next 45 minutes we'll bring you first news of all the late goals as they hit the back of the net. This is the current state of play in the Premiership. Arsenal 4, Fulham 1. Leicester 0, Derby 1. Liverpool 0, Everton 1. Manchester United beat Aston Villa by a goal to nil earlier on this afternoon.
and it's Southampton nil, Bolton nil, and West Ham nil, Middlesbrough nil at Upton Park. John Barnes and Paul Elliott are here. John, you're watching the Merseyside derby. What's the story so far? Well, it was a dull first half. Not as frenetic and passionate as normal derbies. Everton got everyone back behind the ball. Had Campbell up front by himself with Ginola wide in a five-man midfield. Soaked up the pressure from Liverpool, who didn't have the answer. In the second half, Everton brought Radzinski on to partner Campbell and took Ginola off. And within six minutes of coming on, he actually scored the opening goal. Pistone played a good one-two down in the left wing position. Pulled it back for him and he half followed it into the net. Since then, Emil Heskey has come on for Stephen Wright, of all people, and gone into his favourite England position of outside left. So they've still got Anel Crono in on up front and Heskey out on, on the outside left. So just interesting to see how, how they can push forward and progress in the second half. Thanks very much indeed, uh, John. Paul Elliott, you're watching uh, Arsenal really enjoy themselves at uh, Highbury. Yeah, this is a game of the, of the highest order. I mean, it started after five minutes. Excellent work down the left-hand side. Van Bronckhorst fed Henry, then wide to Will Todd, cut, cut into the classic near post area, finished by Lauren. Shortly after that, uh, you know, Marley, beautiful cross by Ferret, long, high and deep. Marley got in at the, at the far post across uh, Seaman. Then uh, Brevet, you know, shortly after that, conceded the pass. Henry intercept, lovely reverse pass. Vieira follows up with a ferocious effort, made it 3-1. And then, you know, Henry after that, I mean, he's been absolutely stunning. I mean, it was a, a beautiful few, uh, through pass. Melville were caught flat-footed, steered it past Van der Zaar. And just a moment, uh, not so, so far ago, you know, Perez went down the left-hand side, come in, crossed to the far post, or crossed the face of the goal for Lauren. He comes off the post, Henry follows up and obviously hits him in the chest, crosses the line. And I must say, this is a performance of the highest quality by Arsenal. Thanks very much uh, indeed, Paul. Um, we'll be showing you highlights from uh, Manchester United's victory uh, a little bit later in the programme. And of course, highlights of all today's six Premiership games at 10.30 this evening. Some interesting stories developing. Let's go to Filbert Street. Next, where Derby lead Leicester by a goal to nil. Andy Barwell is there. Yes, Derby ahead thanks to Georgie Kinklads' left foot shot from 12 yards out after good work by Malcolm Christie. John Gregory, the Derby boss, has seen his goalkeeper Andy Oak stretched off, but Patrick Folletti signed on a three-month contract from Lucerne. He's come off the bench and has had a pretty solid debut. He's just saved well from Leicester substitute Brian Dean. Leicester are battling for their Premiership survival. It's Leicester nil, Derby won. And two other clubs who could be battling for their Premiership survival come the end of the season uh, uh, Southampton and Bolton. They play each other this afternoon uh, at St Mary's. No goals as yet. John Hughes. No, still this goalless stalemate. Southampton threatening to uh, break through. Fabrice Fernandes, the Frenchman, missed a wonderful chance straight after half time, blazing his volley wide from eight yards. Brett Ormerod on as a substitute. Is also shot just wide, but this match really crying out for a moment of inspiration. But Bolton's new French star, Yuri Jekyoff, who's had a quiet debut, has just been taken off, replaced by the former Southampton favourite, Rod Wallace. Southampton nil, Bolton nil. You have to say that neither West Ham or Middlesbrough are out of it uh, at the bottom yet either. Tony Lockwood is there this afternoon. A game in desperate need of a goal, nearly provided a moment ago by Vladimir Labant. On for the injured Don Hutchinson, 25-yard free kick, which was beaten away by Mark Schwarzer in the Borough goal. The visitors will be more than happy with their display and the defensive pairing of Ekiogas uh, alongside him, Southgate. They've been outstanding throughout the afternoon. Still nil-nil, though. It's Scottish Cup fifth round day, a place in the semi-final beckons for the winners. Dundee United against Air United at Tannadice is our featured game this afternoon. Alistair Merning is there. Well, they've been holding on to that uh, very slim 2-1 lead just by their fingernails in the second half. But Air United have pressed mercilessly really since the, uh, the half-time break. Uh, Grady was first in the 53rd minute with an 18-yard header, would you believe? Grady's quite a small character. Diagonal header, which had Paul Gallagher scrambling. And then in the 55th minute, it was Paul Sheeran, uh, who incidentally signed from Inverness Cali, are also playing today. He had a tremendous 20-yard shot, which just whistled over the bar. Si 66 minutes on the clock, Air United 1, Dundee United 2. Is this the day Leicester City can more or less say goodbye to the Premiership? They trail by two goals to nil now at home to Derby. Andy Barwell. Yes, a second goal from Branko Stroop, our first game for almost 12 months for Derby County. A left-footed half-folly home by Branko Strupar with uh, the diving uh, Ian Walker, the Leicester keeper. Absolutely, well, he tried to get a hand to it, but just couldn't. It was a really powerful volley from Branko Strupar, who's taken his shirt off in celebrations. It looks like the three points are going to Derby to aid their Premiership survival hopes. 
but it looks like the drop is looming now for Leicester. Leicester nil, Derby two. Some uh, other important scorelines from the First Division. Wolves, the leaders, lead Stockport, the bottom place side, by three goals to one. Stockport down to ten men. West Brom, four. Portsmouth, nil. It is at the Hawthorns and Coventry lead Barnsley by the same scoreline. And up in Scotland, and fifth round uh, day of the Cup, as I said, Inverness, Caledonian Thistle lead Partick by two goals to one. We'll take a break. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Blended from the finest single malts for a greater depth. Bells. It's all in the blend. Manchester United have already beaten Aston Villa by a goal to nil. Arsenal lead Fulham by four goals to one. Everton lead Liverpool by a goal to nil at Anfield. Any way back or any sign of any way back at the moment, John? For well, Michael Owen had two half chances. One, Heskey played a good ball in and it was a left foot half volley, which was half a chance, just about six yards out. And he had a good chance with a header. Once again, Heskey played the ball in and he really should have hit the target, but it went over. And Everton are still are defending well, getting everybody back behind the ball. Not really posing much of a threat up front, but it's all Liverpool at the moment, but it's very scrappy. The way things stand, Paul, Arsenal will be second tonight, and just the sort of afternoon they needed. Absolutely. I mean, the, the general player has been outstanding. The passing, the movement, equally the, uh, the clinical finishing of Henry, but it's been a, a sheer delight to witness them play this afternoon because it's just a performance, general performance of the most stunning quality. Could be just as important result. Uh,